Hey, this was a really fun project. <laughs> yes. Right? Yeah. And I think it's going to be a fun video. I hope so. Yeah. We had a couple of friends working with us this time. We did. And we'll talk about that in a bit because mm -hmm. this collaboration with our friends helped us illustrate the idea that if you want to make art, make art. Yeah. Never let criticism kill your creativity. Right. And I'm going to tell you how it almost got me. Oh. And that one weird trick I used <laughs> to get past it. Awesome. So I'm a novice sculptor. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to teach myself how to work in three dimensions because I really enjoy it. Yeah. But I've only really sculpted about eight or nine figures. Okay. Uh, and, and this week, I'll be sculpting a very cartoony version of Dr. Octopus as part of this Spider-Verse diorama I cooked up. Yes. And of course, you and a couple of friends also collaborated with me and sculpted parts of this. We did. I think we all had fun with it. Mm-hmm. Now, it was just a couple years ago that I tried my first sculpture mm -hmm. when I hacked my way through this Charlie oh, Brown ghost with paper clay. Oh, I love I, him. I don't. I do. Don't try to make me feel good. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. It reflects the sculpting experience I had at the time, and it was, in all honesty, really fun to work with a different medium for the first time. For your first sculpt, I thought you did a great job. Yeah. Thing is, I have a confession to make. All right. I'm a lying liar. What? <laughs> <laughs> that Charlie Brown ghost was not my first sculpture. Here we go. Let's travel back, <laughs> shall we, to the early 1700s. <laughs> back in, like, 10th grade, uh, my high school art teacher had us sculpt with clay. Okay. Uh, I was all about drawing back then, mm. but I was kind of excited to try clay for the first time. What did you have to sculpt? My head. Uh -huh. My big, stupid head, of all things. Uh, how did it turn out? I right, will picture my head. Uh huh. Now imagine I fell into a vat of chemicals oh, that no. <laughs> melted all my features <laughs> and turned my hair into a mullet-shaped helmet. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop trying to turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> I did that illustration from memory, by the way, and it is uh -huh. surprisingly accurate. Uh -huh. Do you remember what grade you got? I think the teacher gave me a. H for, for horrible, oh, horrible head. I, I don't, it was, I don't know. I don't, it was an average grade, I think, uh -huh. but I didn't care about that stuff. Uh, that grades part. aren't everything. Th they're not, no. and I didn't care about it. But what I did care about, and I'm not sure I was totally aware of this at the time. Mm -hmm. What I cared about was the unlearned opinions of my friends, uh -huh. like none of whom had any sculpting experience themselves. Right. Uh, very few of whom had studied and worked at making art for most of their young lives like I had at that point. Uh, but for some reason, because I, I was a kid, right. I was inexperienced, I was sensitive, uh, and I listened to what they had to say. And one friend in particular, mm. actually, whose opinion I respected at the time, yeah. really had an effect. Uh-oh. But before I talk about the psychological damage that all did to me, <laughs> let's take a look at one of our collaborators. Okay. Our friend, Daryl Anna, who is a school teacher, mm -hmm. is working on a classic Peter Parker Spider-Man. Yes. And we'll show you the finished product, you know, later and, and review all this. But Daryl's not a sculptor mm -hmm. at all. This will be her second sculpt. Second. Second, yes. Okay. And if you're hoping for a disaster like I was, <laughs> you may be in for a surprise. Uh -huh. uh, she was using Sculpey 3, by the way, and she did describe that as sculpting with sticky melted marshmallows oh, no. and i cannot disagree because oh, i kind of played with that stuff too and it was weird yeah. the red in particular was huh. just so soft that you could barely get it to hold its shape wow okay looking forward to how that turns out mm -hmm. but finish your story okay so at the time my friends and i laughed about how amateurish the head sculpt was huh. it was all good natured stuff okay but you know how you can take a joke just so far before it starts to sting a little. Oh, yeah. Like, I didn't want to seem like an oversensitive goon. Right. Uh, so I just let him keep taking shots. Yeah. I laughed along, you know. Like I said, I think there was a lot of subsurface stuff going mm. on. And it happens, you know, when you're right. a teenager. Our formative years, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> where we're not always aware of the effects things have on us. Because you haven't learned to process things. Exactly. So your feelings were hurt. Uh, yeah, and I think mm -hmm. I was internalizing it all. Oh, yeah. But the joking just went on and on. You know uh, that embarrassing moment from childhood that your friends might bring up every year or so when you all get together? <laughs> yes. This sculpt was his meat and potatoes, oh, no. and he never missed a chance to stir the pot. What great friends you had. <laughs> I, I know, I know. 
Hey, speaking of friends, another friend who helped with this diorama was Wesley Hall. <laughs> yes. Artist, comic creator, also known as Pizza Dad on Instagram, right? Pizza Dad Comic, mm-hmm. badly crafted on TikTok. Wesley worked with Super Sculpey Original to sculpt us a Peter Porker <laughs> spider ham for the diorama. You picked the perfect person for that character. I know. I know. Yeah. Because Wesley's funny. Mm-hmm. He's skilled at what he does. But also, he considers himself a novice sculptor. Huh. He has sculpted with paper mache and cardboard. Okay. But this is only about his fifth clay figure sculpture. Okay. Can't wait to see this one finished. Yeah. And while I'm working on this Doc Ock, Let's thank our subscribers and viewers. Oh, yes. We always appreciate the likes and the comments Mm. and the shares. And, of course, our patrons. Oh, yeah. Their support is invaluable. Yeah, and and if anyone wants to find out more about the Patreon, I'll leave the link in the info. Mm -hmm. I know this week the video tiers get a more in-depth look at Michelle sculpting Miles. Mm -hmm. And you're going to give all your tips and tricks Uh, in that video. I don't know about tips and tricks. Well, I mean, I do talk about the challenges of working with clay. Okay. And working at that size. Fair enough. So I think people could learn from my struggles. I think, yeah. It's a good video. So, what happened with your friend and all those sculpting insults? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, all those jokes about how awful the head sculpt was Mm. just stacked up in my brain. And I convinced myself that I didn't have the skill set to sculpt. Like, it just wasn't in my toolbox. Wasn't ever going to be. So I just stopped. I just, I never did it again. Mm. That's the rest of high school, all of college. Oh, my gosh. On up through the Industrial Revolution, the Depression. <laughs> I never got near anything three-dimensional if I could help it. That's... Well, did you stop because you didn't like it? Mm. Or was it just the criticism? I actually had fun working with oh. the clay, but I let those insecurities mess oh. with my head. No. <laughs> I, like, I just didn't want to fail so hard again. So wait, though. You did start sculpting again. Yeah. Recently. Right. What was the, uh, the one weird trick you used to get over oh. your anxiety about it? Well, it's just a very simple philosophy that I spout all the time around the studio. Uh Uh-huh. I say it to you all the time. You know what I say. What do I say to you? Don't put your lips on my microphone. No. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, yes. Don't put your lips on my microphone. But no. (laughs) What I'm talking about is this. Anyway, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Listen, it doesn't matter. Or whatever. It doesn't matter. Right. Totally. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't know. It doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. That's my superpower. The fact that I know that it just doesn't matter. That's right, Michelle. It just doesn't matter. Right. I apply it to a lot of situations, Mm -hmm. but because I let that old criticism and all those insecurities block me, I hadn't thought to apply it to sculpting yet. The criticism doesn't matter. No. And eventually, you'll be able to weed out useless criticism from useful critique. Oh, yeah. That's a whole other topic. Mm -hmm. But no, criticism doesn't matter. But more importantly, neither does how bad you faceplant when Uh you're trying to learn a new skill. Yeah. That goes for anything. Musical instruments, writing, painting, whatever. Right. It's, It's like that old quote... Some people attribute this to Walt Stanchfield, the Disney animator. Sometimes Mm. it's attributed to Chuck Jones. Okay. I've heard a version of it from Ray Bradbury concerning writing, but basically with art, you've got tons of bad drawings inside you. Okay. Or songs or stories or sculpts. Mm Mm-hmm. The sooner you get those out of the way, the sooner you start cranking out the good stuff. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So don't be afraid of screwing up over and over again. Each time you do, as long as you apply yourself to your craft... You'll learn a little more and you'll get a little better. This is like the flip side to our practice makes progress mantra. Exactly. Now, as far as progress goes, let's talk about our third collaborator. Uh Uh-huh. You. (laughs) You also contributed to this jam. Yeah. I sculpted the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Okay. And I used Sculpey Primo. Four different sculptors, Mm -hmm. four different clays. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't have too many issues with the Primo. Okay. But I will also point out that I'm a novice sculptor. Oh, why? Why didn't we get just one person (laughs) who knew what they were doing? I don't know. My gosh. (laughs) I don't know, because this is only my... I think this is my third figure I sculpted with clay. Okay. But I do needle felt a lot of stuff. Right. So I'm at least a little familiar with working in three dimensions. Okay. So while I roll some footage of me working on this... I should mention that I used Sculpey Firm for Doc Ock's body okay. and Cosclay for his mechanical arms. Uh-huh. And as far as my experience with sculpting clay figures, I too am claiming novice status, <laughs> I think. I mean, let me run through this real quick. Uh, 
Well, we start with Charlie Brown, uh-huh. the zombie, the witch. Oh, yeah. Did the pumpkin scarecrow, mm. Godzilla, Captain Cutler, <laughs> creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah. What is that now? Seven? Seven figures. Mm-hmm. So Doc Ock is my... Oh, my God. Eight. <sighs> Dr. Octopus <laughs> is number eight. Oh Otto Octavius is eight. That is weird. Super weird. Yes, it's almost like you planned it. I couldn't have planned it that well. Uh, anyway, yes, Dr. Octopus is my eighth sculpt. Nice. And he is part of this diorama that kind of, sort of, supposed to be the bridge scene from No Way Home mm-hmm. where Doc Ock attacks Spider-Man. Right, but there's a Spider-Verse twist Mm -hmm. because it's not the same Doc Ock. Right. And it's not the same Spider-Man. Or Mm Spider-Men. And we should put up some process shots in the Patreon of this bridge set being built because this was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. But let's just take a look at what the whole team came up with. Okay, Spider-Fans. Here's Daryl's Peter Parker Spider-Man. Only two sculpts under her belt, working with a very gummy Sculpey 3. I like it. Yeah, me too. I told her she could go cartoony with the proportions, Mm -hmm. but I I think the musculature is actually really well done for someone who doesn't sculpt. Right? Very happy with this one. Wesley Hall's Peter Porker Spider-Ham with Super Sculpey Originals up next. This one made me smile so much when we got it in the mail. (laughs) It's perfect. Right? Cartoony and fun and just what I'd expect from a cartoonist. Right. And with only five clay figures under his belt, I think Wesley knocked it out of the park. And he even drew in the webs. I know, above and beyond. And now, Long Lost Friend Studios' very own Michelle <laughs> with a Miles Morales Spider-Man, and you used Sculpey Primo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've only clay sculpted two or three figures before this. Okay. But I really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of fun working with the clay and figuring out which tools work best to get the results. You I know, want. I dropped in on you when you were working on this, yeah. and I know you were having fun. <laughs> yes. Like I said, uh, the Patreon this week features a longer video of you making this Spider-Man figure, and I honestly think... You did an amazing job. All of you guys, really. You made me so happy with this collaboration. Okay, let's put it all together. (laughs) He's really tearing up a lot of asphalt. Don't worry. We're sending in a team to address that right now. (laughs) Good. Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man. Miles Morales, the amazing Spider-Man. And Peter Porker, Spider-Ham. Let's take a look. There he is, Dr. Otto Octavius, crossing into our universe, looking for trouble, (laughs) and finding a team of heroes. I really had fun putting this together. You know, in a way, I'm a lot like (laughs) Otto Octavius. (laughs) (laughs) Hear me out. My mere presence in this universe has... uh, caused a team of <laughs> Go on. disparate heroes uh, to assemble mm. uh, and create your metaphor uh, something is wilting. amazing something amazing <laughs> I got it and further to hammer home that point if I had continued to let that schoolyard criticism of that first sculpt or my fear mm. of failure yeah. stop me from trying this again we never would have made this. Right. We never would have gotten together with our friends Wesley and Daryl Anna. Probably not. And I hope that if nothing else, doing this will encourage people who are on the fence about trying new things to just go ahead and have fun with it. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have sculpted a Spider-Man, mm-hmm. but I'm really glad that I did. Good. And I want to sculpt more. Yes. <laughs> so, to absolutely no one's shock, yeah. encouragement wins out over criticism. Right. Is this the finest Spider-Man diorama you've ever seen? It doesn't matter. Say it with me, Michelle. It doesn't Doesn't matter. matter. We had a blast. (laughs) So I guess just stay positive. Mm -hmm. Uh, Don't let negativity or fear stop your forward momentum. Thank you to Wesley and Mm -hmm. Daryl for joining us in this collaboration. Yes, big thanks. Mm -hmm. And if folks watching this had half as much fun as we did, You might want to check out the two-part monster sculpt-off that Michelle and I did last year, (laughs) where she needle-felted King Kong, and I went up against that with my clay Godzilla. I had so much fun. That was really winning that sculpt-off. You didn't. I won that sculpt. You didn't I win, win that sculpt. I was off boss to begin of the with. studio. Yes, no, you were. Yeah, sure was. That, was. that was at best a tie. <laughs> no, there, I think no I won. winner has been the declared. The people said that you I won. Who <laughs> the 